what is up my crazy subscribers this is joking john 4 here bringing us some battlefield 4 gameplay in the background hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you guys do make sure you have a like on the video also subscribe for more gameplays so anyways moving on to the main topic and question of the day which is what am i doing to prepare myself for black ops 3 which is coming out in seven weeks also in november the 6th so that's like uh two months away so damn it's getting closer so anyways um what I've been doing the past few days is play some Battlefield 4. And uh, one of the main reasons why is because they teach you four things. Awareness, strategizing, patience, and also teamwork, which is something that Call of Duty players lack of. Because if you guys go into the ba Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta like a long time ago that came out like three weeks ago, um, if you guys played the game, you should know that there were some campers in the game, which is surprising because I was like, it's the beta, dude. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that's something that Call of Duty players lack of. And Battlefield 4 should teach you teamwork, like, by a lot. Because you just can't rush into an objective and expect yourself to, like, achieve it, like, right away to capture it. And it's not going to happen. You got to get your whole team prepared for what's coming up. So it, you just can't go Rambo mode 24-7. You got to learn all these skills. Um, and that was, like, the, the clip that just happened right now with the shotgun, that was an example right there. It just went ramble mode, and it didn't happen. I just couldn't capture the rush objective because after that, I got killed, and then they deactivated the bomb. So, you gotta have some teamwork going on. Also, strategizing in the battlefield, you gotta have some good, good predictions of where the enemy is coming from because once you advance to a certain area if you if you just shoot your first bullet you gotta know the consequences you gotta know what's happening after okay if i shoot my gun in this area what's gonna happen after where are they coming from what direction where are they spawning that's what you gotta know that's how strategizing works for me and um when i shoot my first bullet i'm always like okay let me look at the map that's where they're coming from that's where my teammates are at and that's how I predict where everybody's coming from. And if you guys saw some of my Black Ops 3 multiplayer clips, you should know that I did predict some certain directions of the enemies. I just turned 180 and killed the next enemy that was coming behind me because I know where my allies were. I know where the enemies are coming from and I know where the spawns were. That's how strategizing works. So, um, so yeah, you got to have some major strategizing techniques. If you guys don't have that, you're going to pretty much be yourself a, um, an, an AI. You're going to be a bot. That's how I pretty much describe some of those people that die constantly. That they, they have like more than 20 deaths. I consider them bots because they're not doing shit. They're just there to be dolls, you know, puppets or whatever. So, um, so yeah, don't be a bot. You got to know your strategizing techniques. Also, awareness. How does Battlefield 4 give you awareness? Now, Battlefield 4, like around 70% of the time, you'll find yourself in an open-ass field. All right. Awareness, this is where awareness comes in. If you don't know where everybody's at, like you gotta look at the whole area. You gotta have your spotting technique like right there and there. You gotta have some good spotting techniques. If you guys don't, you might as well just be a distraction and get yourself killed like right away. So in order for you to have some awareness, you know, you gotta have, you know, you gotta know where to spot the enemy most of the time. And since Battlefield 4, you know, most of the time it's open areas, you know, this is where your awareness increases. So this is why I know where the enemy is at like half of the time. So um, play some Battlefield 4. The awareness is gonna, skill is going to go up. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pretending like real life is a freaking game or anything. But like I'm telling you, this FPS game is going to help you towards Black Ops 3. Because all FPS games are kind of similar to each other. I know some of you guys are going to be saying like, oh, Battlefield 4 is not the same as Call of Duty Black Ops 3, blah, blah. It's all an FPS game. I mean, I play, I've been playing every single FPS game since it's freaking since 2011. So I know what's up. So um, so yeah, you know, awareness comes into play into Battlefield 4. Strategizing, patience. Oh, patience. This is something we haven't talked about yet. Patience. Before you enter a certain area, you got to wait for your teammates. You got to be, you know, willing to reload into a certain area and be patient about it. Because if you just go out there and you don't have any single goddamn bullet in your weapon, you're just reloading while running into an open area, you're going to get yourself killed. All right. So you got to have some patience. And this is what this game mostly teaches you on because you don't have sleight of hand. You don't have any weapon that's kind of glitchy that you can just reload halfway and just shoot out your next bullet. And you should be like, you should be able to have like a full mag. It's not going to happen. So this game teaches you those four skills. 
So um, that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Those are my main tips to you guys. Play some Battlefield 4 to increase all those skills. And also, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they give you three skills in that game. And I'll talk about it in the next video. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more strategizing videos. Also, more tips towards Black Ops 3 because I'm pretty sure this is going to help you guys a lot. And I want you guys to succeed. I want you guys to be better than me. I want you to get more than 50 kills per gameplay. So that is it. Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more gameplays of FPS games.